Hello guys welcome back to our YouTube channel. Although electric cars are nothing new, they're seeing an explosion in popularity well ahead of the incoming 2030 ban on the sale of petrol and diesel cars. Modern battery tech means a 200 plus mile range is becoming ever more attainable while providing performance that would in many cases shame an equivalent internal combustion car. Already there's a wide range of electric choices out there, from tiny city cars and affordable hatchbacks, fashionable SUVs, luxury barges and even out-and-out -out performance cars. That spread will only widen as more and more manufacturers get in on the electric bandwagon. But it isn't just new names, Tesla is once again expanding its range with a sports car and pickup truck, while brands like Audi and Volkswagen are introducing electric vehicles in every segment as they slowly phase out combustion engines. In this video we are talking about 7 upcoming electric cars. But before we get into the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Number 1. Audi A6 e-tron. Thankfully the future isn't entirely SUV-shaped, with Audi previewing both Sportback and Avant versions of its upcoming A6 e-tron. With an expected on-sale date sometime in 2024, it'll sit alongside the combustion-powered A6 in a transitional period. The teased specifications certainly sound tempting, with 800-volt architecture allowing exceedingly rapid charging, the 100-kilowatt-hour battery targeting a 435-mile range in WLTP testing and twin electric motors providing a sub 4.0 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time. Number 2. Audi Sphere Concepts. Audi's trio of concepts, the Grand Sphere, Sky Sphere and Urban Sphere, all previewing the firm's next-generation battery and driver assistance tech. Although we'd expect the designs to be toned down somewhat for production, Audi has already said the Grand Sphere previews the next-gen A8 due in 2025. Whether there's also the appetite for a premium-badged luxury MPV or shape-shifting sports car remains to be seen, but you can guarantee there's at least a grain of reality in all three concepts. Number 3. BMW i7. If the EQS is a little too unconventional and soap-like in its appearance, we'd point you towards the BMW i7. Look past the air divisive front end and it's effectively an all-electric version of the new 7 Series in the vein of the i4 and 4 Series Grand Coupe. We've already driven a prototype that impressed us with its performance and ride quality, so the production version should be quite something. Number 4. Byton M. Byte. The Byton M-Byte is an ambitious, highly connected SUV we previously saw at the 2019 CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, for the less touchy of you. British sales of right-hand drive M-Bytes were promised before the end of 2021, although we're still waiting. When it finally arrives, it'll be bristling with tech including a dashboard screen that stretches the full width for both driver and passenger use. Just like the Audi e-tron, the M-Byte is aimed at all the growth areas of the car market, China, SUVs, and EVs. But unlike the e-tron, Byton is targeting a more accessible price, and believes it can generate the scale to draw comparisons to the Tesla Model 3. Number 5. Cupra Tavascan. Follow-up to the born in Cupra's fledgling EV range will be a production version of the Tavascan concept from 2019. Whereas the born is an all-electric hatchback, the Tavascan is a larger coupe SUV like the VW ID5. It almost goes without saying that being from VW Group and powered by electricity, it's based on the firm's omnipresent MEV platform. Expect the Tavascan to cost quite a bit more than the Born on account of its larger size, and almost certainly no seat badged versions. Production is set to commence in 2024. Number 6. Dacia Spring. Ignoring quadricycles like the AMI and Renault Twizy, the Dacia Spring is Europe's cheapest electric car with a price under $16,000 in some markets. A range of 140 miles is nothing to write home about, but what do you expect at that price? Unfortunately, UK sales of Springs hasn't yet been confirmed despite being available in Europe for some time. Let's hope Dacia's UK arm can persuade the mothership to send it here with the steering wheel on the right side. Number 7. Fisker Ocean. Not every upcoming electric car is an SUV, but given the continued growth of that body steel's popularity, it's no surprise that manufacturers are desperate for a slice of the crossover pie. One such brand, reinventing itself and finding contemporary relevance, is Fisker, with its edgy ocean set to arrive in Britain during 2023. 
Production will be handled by Magna in Austria after a deal with Volkswagen to use the MEB platform came to naught. Prices will start at a takeaway under $36,000, with the range topped by a performance flagship capable of squirting from a standstill to 62 miles per hour in under 3 seconds. That's all for today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please leave us with your valuable feedback if you found this video interesting. Stay tuned to our channel till the next video, and until then, see you soon.